An attempted burglary took place right behind me at Johnson O'Bear, leaving four students with potential missing items. With Mox News, I'm Emily Kulik. The UTC report states that there was one student in the shower at the time of the break-in with the door unlocked. The student heard noises and quickly entered the common area to find a man running out the door. UTC spokesperson Chuck Cantrell says there is security on campus, but students must remember to lock their doors. The initial reports are that nothing had been taken, uh, but now, maybe now that some of the other roommates have come back, there, there may be something missing. We, we, I haven't gotten an, an update on that for sure, but... The, with the follow-up from other roommates, it looks like maybe a few things were taken, but, but I don't have a list of those items. Oh, so the most important way to keep your apartment safe, keep your belongings safe, and keep your person safe uh, is lock your doors. We cannot stress that enough to uh, students who are living on campus. Um, don't leave your door propped open uh, so that you can, people can come in and out. Um, if your roommate has forgotten their key, don't leave the door unlocked. Make them knock on the door and let them in. Know who you're letting into your apartment. Um, look, look, find out who they are. If you're not expecting a repairman and then a repairman shows up at your door, don't let them in without contacting the housing office to make sure that the housing office did indeed schedule some kind of repair service. Um, these are things that we would do at our homes without any question. You, I mean, you wouldn't let anyone enter your house without knowing who they are. You wouldn't leave your door unlocked for people to just come and go, uh, especially when you're not there. But for some reason, it, the, the same ideas of safety and security just don't sort of flow over into student housing automatically. So we have to remind students all the time, uh, lock your doors, don't let anyone in that you're not expecting. Um, and yes, that may not be a little less convenient sometimes, but um, it's, it's important to be safe. Police are looking for a black male, early to mid-20s, approximately 5'10 to 6 feet tall, medium build, reported wearing a white polo shirt with black stripes. If you have any information on this or other crimes, please contact the UTC police at 423-425-4357. Students who have returned to UTC this fall will notice a huge change on campus. Cardiac Hill now has steps. I'm Monica Muniz with Mox News. The changes were necessary to make it easier for people with a handicap to get up and down the steep slope. They added a winding ramp and steps. The $2.9 million project also provides access to a dining hall and a new pavilion and has also become a great place to meet with friends or hang out. Um, I like it a lot better. I think it's a lot easier to go just up and down. It's quite, I don't know, it's not quite as difficult, I'd say, and I can actually wear heels going up here instead of sliding all the way down, like especially in, when it's a lot colder. And um, I don't know, I like it a lot better. It looks a lot nicer, more professional. When I was a freshman, obviously it was just like a giant hill, and that was fun for mountain biking down it, but I felt that it just didn't look like a college campus, and now with the renovations, like Cham Chamberlain Field Monument right there, and the new library, and especially the stairs, actually just make it more academic looking in a perspective of student body. So I love it. I think it's a good change, and what they're doing with the school is fabulous. Make sure they give them all, and now they know that we own. Don't ever hold your applause for me. Don't ever hold your applause for me. This is your boy Big Ron, man, bringing you the weekly update for the hot list from 5 to 6 on Wednesdays with Mox News. Now today, man, we had a lot of different topics, man. Also, shout out to my guy, Joy, which couldn't be in attendance, but he will be back next week. But starting it off, man, we have the government shutdown. It's coming to a close, y'all. I'm just so happy that it's coming to a close and we are able to come to an agreement just for the people. So the government and everybody that's working for the government will have their money back in their pockets. Also, man, the BET Hip Hop Awards. The BET Hip Hop Awards, it was just outstanding. I would say it was outstanding. If y'all missed out, man, we had, had performances from Future, Rick Ross, Rocco, Diddy, just to name a few. Y'all check that out. They're also re-airing that tomorrow at 7 p.m. on BET. Also, Adrian Peterson's son. First off, let's just take a moment silent for his son. Adrian Peterson's son, which was abused by a man that was dating his mother, died Friday in South Dakota. 
Now, y'all, I'm not going to go too deep into it, man, because I want y'all to watch the show. Um, it's just pretty much a sad occurrence, man. We have a lot of sick people in America. And I just want to pray for their family and just send our condolences out to Adrian Peterson. Well, that's it, man. Just a wrap-up of the hot list. Every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. Make sure y'all tune in to our other show. We got Mox Underground, For Real For Real Friday, and also Mox Mixtape. Man, just tune in to The Perch. Our website is www.utcperch.com. And that's it. That's not it, man. I almost forgot. Make sure y'all come to the Student Media Halloween Party Costume Party. Man, it's going to be at October 30th in the Chattanooga Room from 6 to 9 p.m. We'll be having photo booths, we'll have a costume contest, and we'll also be having different prizes. And what's a Halloween party without candy? So make sure y'all come to that. And now, that's it.